In this bag, I have what are potentially the longest and most forgiving drivers of 2024. And get this, they're both pretty similar. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, if you are new here, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our daily uploads. Today we have the PXG 0311 Black Ops drivers. Both these are fitted in my exact specs. I absolutely love these drivers so much so when I did the Black Ops Tour 1 edition, I said, it might go in the bag. There's every chance it does go in my golf bag for 2024. I think this is last year's Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. It's that good because that was head and shoulders above everything else. Today we're going to compare these both out here in the golf course and in the swing studio to see if there's a huge difference in forgiveness, if there's a huge difference in that spin rate that we want to try and get the maximum distance out of them, we're going to kick things off here on the 15th hole here at Woolley Park Golf Club, a gorgeous golf hole, and we'll go with the standard version first, 0311 Black Ops. Now these are both in 10 and a half degree loft. I got fitted for these and it was quite a strange thing for me because being fitted into a 10 and a half degree, it's never happened for me before. It's not something that is standard for me, but it launched still quite low with a nice spin rate go figure so quite a nice driving hole this just over that bunker with a tiny bit of draw would be perfect and as soon as i look down at this i've actually been using the tour edition for a couple of weeks now actually and as you can see looking down at them headwise although the same driver it actually looks totally different you can see just how much more elongated the standard version is a lot more compact in that tour one edition as you can see i really really enjoy the white etching around the heads though for me that's something which i think looks really really good and on the bottom you can see it looks quite different we've got still carbon here we've got a much more of a pronounced i think that's almost like a inertia generator kind of thing there with the weighting in the back right at the back as opposed to the weighting in the sole of the club there and then a kind of different looking bottom line so two totally different looking drivers from the bottom and actually interestingly if you look at the driver on the left which is the standard 0311 the weights are a lot more spread out towards that toe and heel whereas the tall version where it's meant to be a bit more low spin those weights are a little bit further forward a little bit more central to help it be that exact low spin driver although they are in the same family so what have we come to see we've come to see james smash them into the trees slash down the fairway hopefully let's send some away i mean that it's such an easy high flying ball flight isn't it the thing that really gets me with these drivers that's probably plugged because it is so wet out here today they feel and sound incredible whatever pxg have done to make these sound better i take my hat off to them haircut is due I know but it's miles better than the previous generation i got to speak to the designer himself and he was kind of wax lyrical about what they've done with them and whenever I hit these, I generally get them out of the middle because this shaft is like a voodoo shaft. Not a voodoo shaft, because voodoo was a shaft, but it's almost like a, a voodoo for me because it's working really, really nicely. Right, and get it down a little bit. Way easier to launch the Tour 1 edition lower. There we go. There we go. A much tighter line. That's long as well, by the way. That feels... Look how long that's gone. That's gone miles. But... I feel like you're going to get a lot more forgiveness with this. And depending on what kind of golfer you are, if you're a mid handicap golfer, if you're a low handicap golfer, I still think tour players might end up putting this standard version in the bag because I've almost fallen in love with the tour version. And the tour version for me is a club that I think you would massively aspire to use. If you get it not out the middle, you still get this weather, honestly, just mud everywhere. The tour version is a version I think you would aspire to use. If you don't get out of the middle, you still get an element of forgiveness. You still get that low spin. I compared it to the Paradigm Triple Diamond earlier on in this video. And I think the big reason for that is if you get it slightly out the toe or the heel, it still launches nicely. You still get a fairly optimum spin rate and you still get plenty of ball speed. Now, is the proof in the pudding? Because I've been using this club for a couple of days, as I've said, or a couple of rounds even, and the results have been really good. I'll show you a couple of those on screen now. You can see the ball flights are penetrating, the drives along. I outdrove Chris by like 50 yards on one hole, so um, we'll not tell him that. But down at the ball, certainly not as friendly looking, I will say. It's a much smaller head, although it's the same size head. It's just a little bit kind of more compact. And it's funny because that's the similar flight to the first one, is it? Just up the right-hand side, a little bit high. I actually cut across that a little bit, so I imagine the spins up there a bit but again we speak about getting it out of the middle of the face i don't think there's a driver out there this year that sounds this good 
I'm going to put that out there and that's a bold call for me because I'm a golfer that really enjoys feedback of the audio variety. Interesting, another high ball flat. I don't think that's a high spin though. So let's get down there. Let's see where those drives have finished. Very interesting and we're starting to wear the middle out of this face. Lovely. So interestingly, really, really close together shots there. We missed the fairway on the right three out of four times, funnily enough. And the, the second shot with the standard driver is over on the left hand side. But front to back dispersion wise, I mean, it's not my best stuff, but that's why I like doing these tests. We've not hit the fairway once but you can literally throw a blanket over these ones. And then, I mean, that was the best one to be fair with the standard 0311. So that's a little tick in the box for the standard version. Let's go into another tee, let's see. We're gonna go one shot each now because I'm a big believer that, yeah, you can stand there hitting shots all the time, but realistically when it counts under the gun, one shot and one shot only is what you get on the golf course. And really interestingly, I think it's safe to say that both these drivers have the shelf appeal, don't they? Both these drivers, if you walk into a pro shop or a Dick Sporting Goods or a Golf Galaxy, I don't know where PXG is stocked in the USA, to be honest, but both of them have that. I think the Tour version has a little bit more. I think it's got more going on, more technological advances potentially going on. Really cool to see how different the head shapes are as well. If you look from this angle, you can see that's a little bit more bulbousome, whereas this one standard version is a little bit more kind of drawed back and pulled back. That is to enhance MOI, move CG back. You can have this in a certain setting that features 10K inertia, because that's all of a sudden a thing. In Bobby's got all the way there, hasn't he? Oh dear, Bobby. That's obviously a thing in 2024, isn't it? So this is the standard version. Let's see if we can just send one. We're going to try and hit the fairway twice here. I know that sounds like a little bit of a big thing to ask, but it's funny because I've, I've been using the tour version and almost thinking, right, that's a driver for me, get in there, no problem. And you can almost hit similar shots with this, but have the perks of having more forgiveness. And who doesn't want that? Like, I don't know anyone that wouldn't want that. Tour pros want that. Do I want that? Just down the left side, it's not a fairway, but it's a long way down there. That's not going to be too bad. A little bit toe with that one. First one we've not really hit out of the middle. If we hit that strike with the tour version, I don't think it'd go quite as well. I do feel so confident with this tour one. Really confident just to, there we go. That's the drive that you, you kind of play with your mates. And I spoke earlier about hitting it out of the toe. That's a fair way found first one of the day. I was a little bit out of the toe. I think I've actually been leaving the face open ever so slightly with the ball flights with this, but I don't particularly mind. I'm not a bro, but I'm not gonna hit perfect drives every time. If this can give me the element of forgiveness that I want, it's pretty much definitely gonna go in the bag. And for me, what's really amazing, when I got fitted for both of these drivers down at PXG HQ, they were very similar numbers wise, but if I could put my best swing on it, the tall driver would just edge it. I've since then tested these drivers in my studio just to see exactly which one really is the best driver for me, because although it's nice to test outside, it's also nice to gather as much information and numbers as you can. And as you can see, that felt amazing. And that is a shot I could play with all day long. A low peeling fade, pitching again around 270, rolling up to 285, 286. And when it boils down to it, just what numbers will we be getting with both the 0311 and the 0311 Tor? Very, very, very similar as you can see, 161 ball speed, 162 ball speed, spinning around 2300 or around 1900. The spin rate was the big difference for me. You can see distance in difference there is only two yards, but realistically, which driver would be best out on the course? Let's get back out there and let's see potentially which one's going in my bag for 2024. Okay, so what was that? You like that trend, yeah, I enjoyed that. So, uh, big shout out for the head cover as well. I'll put this on the ground so it's a little bit muddy, but really, really nice quality head cover as well. A lot of people like, like to ask about head covers, so I thought we'd get it in there. We're going to go tall version first this time. It's funny because this video, my heart says tall version, my head probably says the standard version, and the numbers are very, very similar, aren't they? So, I think a lot of people do find that when testing golf clubs, you're not always going to see huge differences in numbers, especially when you test different golf balls, different drivers, even different irons, because I'm not that consistent. I imagine you guys maybe aren't that consistent. So, it boils down to what you're maybe most comfortable and most confident with. All I see here is a lovely draw just off that massive oak tree, Bobby. Is it an oak tree? I don't know. Is it a, it's not a conquer tree, is it? No. 
that, it's not a draw, but it's massive. And that's the shot what I've played so often over the last couple of years when playing good golf, just a kind of like low spin trappy fade. Really, really nice that I enjoyed that. I don't particularly mind calling a shot and getting it wrong as long as it still hits the fairway. I always think if I try to hit a draw, generally I just hit it a little bit straighter. So we'll take that. Right, standard 0311. I almost feel like I have to put a good swing on the tour, but I don't on this. Really, really interesting logic because I feel like I can just make a shoulder turn and hit that like that. Obviously higher, gonna be more spin. I think the tall version is gonna be a longer drive on this hole. Let's get down there and see where they are. But if you're conscious about hitting fairways, if you're not working on your game, you want to just kind of enjoy your golf and just turn your shoulders, this could be the driver for you. And that is quite a big difference actually. We were a little bit further forward, but this is like a 290 yard green. And I'll take a picture of where that's landed because Bobby can't be bothered to walk all the way over here quite clearly. That's where we've finished. It's landed there and that is absolutely massive, isn't it Bobby? What do you reckon to that? Big that, isn't it? To say it wasn't really a shot of cold either. <laughs> I mean we've got this chip for Eagle. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Might make par. <laughs> 